Welcome to a League of Legends Champion Spotlight for Zac, the Secret Weapon, the newest champion released from Riot Games. I'm going to be taking you guys through his skills, his emotions, and show you some gameplay from the public beta. And I should point out the gameplay that I'm showing could be changed before official release on the League of Legends servers. And to start things off, I'm going to be going through his skills with his passive, Cell Division. When any of Zac's abilities hit an enemy, a piece of him falls to the ground. Zac can pick up fallen pieces to recover health. When Zack dies, he splits into four blobs. These fragments will attempt to reform over a short duration, heading from the outside in. If any survive, Zack revives with a percentage of his maximum health based on the number of remaining blobs. So as you can see as he's letting off his skills here, there's blobs falling out to the side and as he picks those up it restores his health and that's the basic gist of how that works. And here I'm going to show his cell division upon death and as you can see he splits into four and these slowly make their way in and the enemy can choose to attack these and I guess it has a similar mechanic to Anivia's egg so in a team fight when there's much AOE going on it's going to be hard to sort of bring yourself back but it's still a useful little mechanic. And now we're going to go into Zack's Q, Stretching Strike. It costs 6% of your current health and it smacks enemies in a line in front of him, dealing magic damage and slowing them by 35% for 2 seconds. So as you can see, he hurls both his arms out as they smack the enemies in front of him. And this also activates his passive, which gives you the little blobs of health out to the side. Now we're going to talk about his W, Unstable Matter. The cost for this is 4% of your current health. As the active, Zack's body erupts, dealing magic damage and a percentage of the enemy's maximum health as magic damage to all nearby enemies, with a maximum of 200 damage against minions and monsters. So as you can see, it's got a small burst radius, but you move in and the body explodes and this also activates your passive. And now for Zack's E, Elastic Slingshot. The cost for this is 12% of your current health. Now this charges up and launches towards a target area, knocking up enemies. Zack faces the cursor and charges up for one second. Reactivating the ability again launches him towards his target, dealing magic damage to all enemies hit and knocking them back for half a second. And I should point out this is very useful when it comes to ganking, jumping from bushes and you can actually use this to jump over walls as well as being demonstrated now on the screen. Which is what brings me to my point of saying that I think Zack is going to be best known as being a jungler. He's got that bruiser type to him, more of an AP bruiser, but he's really effective when it comes to ganking and slowing the enemies and catching them by surprise. And lastly, we have Zack's R, which is his ultimate. Let's bounce. This has no cost. Zack bounces four times, knocking up and slowing enemies. Each bounce deals magic damage to nearby enemies, knocks them up for one second, and slows them by 20% for one second. Enemies hit more than once take half damage and are not knocked up or slowed. Zack gains an accelerating movement speed buff while this is active. Zack can right click to move while in the air. So with this skill setup, it looks like Zack's definitely going to be a jungler and probably top lane, but when it comes to team fights, he's definitely going to have a lot of presence and damage. He has many AoEs that he's going to be sprawling across a team, as well as his sustain from picking up the chunks of health that drop to the side during his skill activation. So that's going to be it for the video, guys. Let me know what you think down below in the comments about Zack and what you think they should change or might change in the future. And um, if you enjoyed the video and want to see more of these, definitely hit it up with a like, favorite it, and subscribe if you're new to the videos because there's going to be a lot more League of Legends coming your way. So thank you for watching, guys, and I'll talk to you later. Catch. It's not how much you can lift, it's how good you look!